Hi friends, this is Shekhar Srinivasan, Managing Director, LS Solutions Private Limited, a .NET Trainer and an Architect. In this video, I will explain about Bootstrap and its grid system. Bootstrap is a sleek framework that has been introduced for developing rich web and mobile application. And in this video, I try to explain how to use the grid system of the bootstrap. When we try to understand, the bootstrap categorizes the devices into four categories. First one, extremely small devices. small devices medium devices and large devices so bootstrap categorizes the devices into four categories extremely small devices, small devices, medium devices and large devices. When we observe extremely small devices, mobiles we can assume it. And small devices such as tablets, medium devices such as your normal desktop and large devices are the desktops with a larger screen size. Now. In order to identify the device and to provide the styles, Bootstrap has provided some classes to notify this. In order to work with the extremely small, we have something called test call iPhone XX and a number. And in order to work with the small devices, we can take the support of call sm and a number to work with the medium devices we can take the support of a class call md and a number and in order to work with the larger devices we can take the support of call lg and a number now whenever we work with the grid system it is used to lay the content in rows and columns. The rows should be contained within a container. For example, if I specify that this is going to be my container. In order to identify this as a container, we try to take the support of a class called as container. And within this container, I can have several rows in order to represent that this is going to be a row we can take the support of row and what is this row going to consist of is it consists of columns in order to represent the columns, depending upon your requirement, we have to take the columns as per the device specification. I may take a column which will occupy the entire thing. One single row, I can just assume it as it will be between 1 to 12. It means that I can take the entire row to be one single information. For example, if I try to target the desktop devices, I can say call MD12. Then automatically the entire row will have one single column. Now in case if I wanted to split this into two, then I can take the support of column md and this x is going to be the number where the number should be between 1 to 12 
every individual row you can split into maximum 12 columns so accordingly we try to arrange it now if i wanted to split the same thing into three then what we can do is i can take the support of call md and i can take the size of four In this way, every column we will have some particular number and based on this, we can just try to split our rows into a single column or a two column, three column. As per your requirement, we can split. Now let's try to understand the same concept practically with a simple demonstration to understand the usage of grid system. Let's start with the demo. Now let me try to open the visualstudio.net. I save file, new, website. I select an ASP.NET empty website. I provide bootstrap demo as the name for the application. I say OK. We can observe that my solution is having only one file that's web.config. Now what I try to do is, in order to get the bootstrap files for our solution, I try to depend on manage new get packages. Here I try to search for the bootstrap. Once the bootstrap is identified, just click on install. This will try to find all the dependency files and the files which are required for supporting bootstrap now if you just try to observe my solution explorer i find the content with all the style sheets required for supporting bootstrap the fonts which are useful while working with the bootstrap and the jquery script files which are helpful while working with the bootstrap now let's try to add a simple web form and let's see how we can use the grid system. In order to use the bootstrap, first let me increase the font size. Now in order to use the bootstrap, I need to take the support of the bootstrap file. So you have two files, one is bootstrap.css and bootstrap.min.css. Min.css is the minified version of the bootstrap file which we can use it for the development purpose. So I try to take the support of this. Now, bootstrap provides us a various set of classes that can be used. Now I try to say that a class and I just say a page header. And I try to type in something like understanding bootstrap grid system. Now I already mentioned that bootstrap grid system is a collection of rows and columns which are maintained. In order to maintain the collection of rows, I can take the support of a div tag where the class I call it as a container. This container consists of rows. So I can simply say div class row. And what is this row consists of is the row consists of the columns. Now depending upon the device that you are going to use it, we can select that particular columns. Where the column size will be between 1 to 12. Now say that I wanted to use a full width content, then what I can do is I can simply say div class equal to call. In case if I wanted to target the desktops, I can say md where the values I already mentioned that it will be between 1 to 12. So I simply say 12 and we can just provide the content. For example, let me just try to have some dummy data. 
so this is going to have a full width row now let me just try to execute this and check out how this is going to look in my form we can just try to observe it the entire full width has been occupied by this row itself in case assume that you have a requirement such that you wanted to have a row where you wanted to have two columns then what you can do is you can simply say call md6 where you can just i just try to add some particular dummy data for that column similarly now once i have this particular thing let me just try to refresh it to see how my content is going to look like to find the difference what i do is in between the row let me just add a horizontal line so that we can observe it. this is a full width content that is available and this is a two column grid layout now same way we can just try to take the support of a number of things so in case if i wanted to have a three column layout let me just try to use it i will have i'm just try to use the zen programming model to have this thing now you can just try to observe it i got a div with a row and i'm just trying to take a column with four now if i just try to refresh it again you can just try to observe it we got a grid with this we can just try to design any number of things say for example i wanted to put that thing towards the right side so what i try to do was div row div column md 10 i just wanted to have this thing and then what i try to do was within this div assume that i try to say a class md 2 and i would like to have an unordered list say for example 5 some unordered list items i just added now if you just try to observe this we can just try to understand that we got a row where the first one is of type 10 and the next one is of type 2 let me just try to refresh it we can just try to check out this so depending upon your requirement we can easily try to design your content so the major advantage what you get with the bootstrap is as and when i try to resize this thing the content is going to get arranged accordingly okay so hope you are clear with this particular bootstrap and the usage of grid system in the next video i will explain how to use bootstrap table layouts subscribe my youtube channel for further videos thank you